this avatar is very fitting for the video that I'm about to do. Um, yeah, let's change my avatar. All right, that's better. So today I'm going to be taking a house in Bloxburg and I'm going to be telling you guys how you can make that house look better. So obviously we're going to be looking for an ugly home and I'm going to be making it look absolutely better. So one of the first things that we need to do is find an ugly home on Bloxburg. Obviously I'm over here on Riverside and what is that down there? Hold on, let me get into build mode. I want to get a car so that I can drive around. So let's use the car and let's go over this way because I see someone's building a home over here. And let's see what are they doing. Okay. Okay, so I see that they're doing the outside first and I'm doing that. Eh, that kind of looks okay for the first part of it. Um, so I won't I, I won't take that house. I want to make sure a house is kind of done or a house is not kind of done. Um, but the outside of that house looks pretty nice. So we'll... Oh, okay, you know what? This house is very much of a contender. Um, we can come back to this house to see if there's not any better houses than this because that is that is something that we all typically do in Bloxburg. Oh, I'm not going to go for that house. This house looks kind of good so far, but... Oh! And then we have a city over here. Okay. Nothing too wrong with a city because this, this belongs to Riverside. This also belongs to Riverside because that's actually really good. I think what we're going to do is that we're going to go with the box house. That's my favorite one to redecorate. It's my favorite one to rebuild because this one's not much of a box. It's okay. But the box house, the box house will give us so much potential for this video. All right. So one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to build the box. So they had a big box. So I'm. it's not going to be drawn exactly to how they had it to scale. But we're just going to do a big box like so. So let, let's let's go off this big box. So as you can see over there, they have a room that's going to be like so. And they have another one that's going to be like so. Okay, so this is pretty much what they have on their house. And let me let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about this. That there's certain things that you should do with a house. There's certain things that you should not do with a house. So if you want to make a house look magnificent, you want to make it look good, you want to give the house some kind of shape. And obviously you can start off with a box. Now, if we go off how you build in The Sims, in The Sims, you start off with a box and you go off of that. So I'm going to take a small little box and we're just going to go off this box right here. So it can be like a square, it can be a rectangle. So I'm going to do a square. So this will be the start of the box. So now we have this area over here. So let's see if we were to do something like so. Just kind of give it some shape. Otherwise, the build will just look super flat. We don't want to make the build look super flat. Because we want to give our build some shape. Now, once we have that box, so that's our starter box. So now we can take these walls and just redo them. So now you can definitely see that the house is starting to get some shape. Now we can put some back walls, some side walls, and this is how it's starting to look like. Now, obviously, you can you can play around with the side walls as well. You can make diff different structures on the side as well if you want to do something like so. Just kind of give it more structure than what the house usually does. So now that's pretty much how you can do it. Now paint it now uh, what i see a lot of people do is i'm going to do what typical what people typically do with their houses all right so a lot of people just color their house all white or just one color but here's what you should be doing take a part of the house when you hit paint and just play around with the textures because obviously there's a ton of textures in blogsburg and you can choose any textures from your liking so for this part i'm going to do this i'm going to choose this color for this part of the house so you want to use as many textures as you can to differentiate the house from being all the same color all the same thing because it's going to look bland all right so now we have a house on the outside and it looks nice and pretty like it pops like everyone's going to look at it and be like oh wow that looks so amazing now here's where everyone gets this messed up next is that when they start to build their house, they're like, okay, well, the roof, that's going to be the hardest part. So what they, what they usually do 
is I'm going to show you exactly what people they usually do when they have groups. So they will take the pyramid roof or they'll take the manistered roof. My favorite is the manistered roof. So I'm going to use the example on the manistered roof. All right, so this is how the house would look like if you would just put roofs like that. Just put so many different roofs and not connect them together. Now, roofing work is very, very hard. I hate roofing work, so we're going to remove all these roofs. So when you're building houses, the shape, the design that you're going for, you want to make sure that the, each of the roofs will go together. I have multiple builds on my on my channel. Well, I have like two builds on my channel where roofs fit the house. So I think what would fit this house is a flat roof. So because this is much more of like a square design, um, it does not give suburban home feels. If it was giving a suburban home feel, um, the front and the back would be the same and all the textures in the front and the back will be the same so the roof can kind of all go together. But the roof doesn't go together with this. So what we can use is we can use a flat roof. Now what I see a lot of people do next is they continue to place the roof down here. We try to give the roof some depth by scaling these. Oh, by scaling by scaling these up a little bit, just so the roof can have a little bit of a depth. And there you go. Now you have your flat roof on your home. And the roof can be designed a little bit later. Now, next up is how would we window the house? How would we structure this house? Where would the front door go? And how would this go out? So one of the first things you want to do is you want to go into windows. You want to make sure that you choose a window that will fit for the house. I'm going to choose a factory window. It's one of my favorite windows to use in Bloxburg. And we're just going to place some windows down on these parts. Now, next, you want to choose a door that will fit the factory windows. Okay, so if we go into doors, we're going to see something. Uh, let's see, doors, doors, doors. Let's see, what would fit the factory factory windows? Um, my favorite is to use the traditional doors, but you would want to use like traditional windows. When you go for the traditional doors, the frosted door fits the most. We're going to do something like this. So now we technically now have a front of the house. So when we go inside is where people start to mess up a little bit. They want to they, they wanna do a floor plan. So let's just move all of this stuff right here. Um, so we can, what we can do right here is, oh, we can do like a bedroom here. And that can be like a tiny little closet. So we have like a bedroom. And then we can kind of do a bathroom here. And then do another bedroom there. So we have a bedroom bathroom. And here we can kind of do like the kitchen. And then the living room can be right there. So that's how you would do like a floor plan. Kitchen can go here. A living room can go here. A bedroom can go here with a closet. A bathroom can go here. You don't need a very big of a bathroom. Which I would like to have a bigger, a bigger bathroom. Because the bedroom does not need to be that big. So let's just see this real quick. Alright, yeah. So you can have like the bedroom and the bathroom be kind of like the same size. Or we can open this up and put like the bed there. Well, we can not just all trial and error. So now that we have this, let's start to paint the roof. The roof looks good enough as it is. So we don't need to play around with the roof. Now, when we go on the inside is where it gets difficult. Now we're going to place floors. So what I usually see people do when they place floors is that they take their floor and they just do this. This does good, but... I like to use custom placement so that way I can make all the floors go in the same direction. When you're choosing a floor, you want to choose a floor that you would use. I see lots of people just ch choose like a texture for this for the floor, or they choose this for the floor, or they'll choose this for the floor, or they'll choose this for the floor, or they'll choose this for the floor. It depends on the style of your house. We're kind of going for like a modern home, so I would use this texture for the floor and I would color it a brown color. Now, when we're on the inside, is a lot of people start to not do good on the inside. Now that we have the entire house the way that we have it, we want to start putting windows around the house. So, when you're building living rooms, you obviously are going to have a trial and error based on what you want to do. Now, in my living rooms, I usually put a fireplace because it makes it look more of like a living room. And I start placing down maybe couches, carpets, whatever. So when you're doing this, you're going to want to have 
a vision in mind. Now you can go to Pinterest to get like a vision or you can go to um, Google and search up living rooms that you want to use. So now if you want to have like a modern outside and have a cozy inside and you want to have like a rustic inside kind of thing, you can do that. You can mix rustic modern together. You can mix different styles together. So now when we're, when we're in the house, now we kind of just have this where we're starting to look at this. We're like, okay, so this looks nice. Let's put, let's see, decorate um electronics let's put a tv on there um i'll go for no i'll go for this tv because i got enough money for it so what people usually do is they just start just to place things down and they just that's usually what you do when you're building a house but then they just don't work on color they color things very very off your color palette needs to be what is what what is drawing people to the house so they usually when they when they're building their stuff they're like oh i th i like Oh, I like this thing. Let's push this thing down. And then I like this thing. Let's put this thing down. Sorry. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. You want to have a furniture set that will look really, really nice. So let's see. How many bedrooms are we going to have? We're going to have. So we're going to have like two bedrooms in this house. So this will be like a two bedroom home. Kind of like a starter home. Two bedroom, not a family home. Um, I think we could do a content... A con contemporary sofa. I think that would fit really nice in this house. So now that we have that down, usually people just say have like, oh, we have a fireplace. We don't need a light. Um, sorry. Yes, you do need a light. Now we're gonna paint the inside walls. You no, know, finding textures for inside walls is very very difficult because you never know which one you want to use. So I'm gonna use this. So we can go for that color right there. So that can be kind of like our accent wall. Okay, there we go. We have something going on. Um, and then I want to kind of just go for like a nice whitish wall here. Not too white, not too gray. So I think I'll just keep that as gray. All right. So now that we have these these areas painted, how would we how, how would we go forward with this? So let's put some more doors down. Let's put some more doors down. So let's do let's do doorways. Um, C arch, and then this will be the area for our kitchen. Now, obviously, we're going in different directions throughout the throughout the house. So obviously, you can see that if we do this, the floor would look connected. So as you guys can see, with a little bit of design tips, you will have such a good house. Now. We have to add wall trims to this place. Wall trims is what's going to make this place pop. So now I'm going to use this wall trim because I love this wall trim. And we're going to change up the wood texture because the wood just does not go with this house. So let's just go for wood grain. So now we start to have our wood, our wall trim. And look at how much that makes the house pop. Look at how much the house is popping because we have the wood grain. Okay, I was very worried that none of this would actually work, and then it will look all ugly. Oh my god, that actually does work. And you can obviously see that wall trims make the house pop a little bit more than normally what you would think that wall trims would do. Now, if we look at this, now if we look at this, we see a house. We we see a place that looks magnificent. We see a we we see a thing that's gonna look so good, and. Our friends will come to the house and be like, oh wow, this actually looks super good. Now we're going to place a carpet there so we can put like a dining table on there because this will be like our dining room area and this will be our kitchen area. So now we have this area over here. Let's see. So now I think this looks nice for what we want to go for so far. All right. So that's what we can do for the living, for the kitchen right now. I think what we can do also is we can kind of do like a little bit of like a, an island. I love islands. <laughs> All right. There we go. And now we can start working on the lighting in this room. So now you don't want to have like the same lights. Like if we if we were just to put this in here, we don't want to have the same lights in each room. You want to make sure the room and the lights fit together. So for this place, we're gonna use a rustic ceiling lamp. I, I love the rustic ceiling lamp. It's, it's amazing. And then let's put the light there, and put the light there. And then you can definitely tell that that is super bright. So let's put linen, 
Let's do the same thing right there for linen. And then there you go. The light just goes down. Goes dim a little bit. Now you can kind of have that being like that. But let's also scale this down just a little bit more. Because these are pendant lights. So we want to make sure the pendant light just goes down just a little bit more. Kind of like so. Now you can kind of see that the kitchen's coming along better than how normal people would do it. Um, we're not going to put any cabinets in here for now. Because we're just really just going to go through... Kind of just making the house pop a little bit. Tips and tricks for you to make your house look better. Now, we come back to the living room. The living room looks nice. Um, obviously, what you can do is you can go to storage. And you can put, you know, a bookshelf down. I'll put, like, this bookshelf down right here. So, when you're, when you're, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're choosing stuff that will go good for the house. These plants look nice. You don't want to have all these be overused. My favorite is to do the industrial dining table um let's see traditional elegant mid-century victorian log arched yeah i think the industrial dining table will go good for this place but the linen right there the linen lights and as you can see is that it's not lighting up too much but it's lighting it up enough to make it look like that we want to make sure the chair goes with the the style of the house the, the way that you want to have the house off the stylish chair looks nice with this table so you want to make sure that they go good with the tables and then there you go you now you have like a table and you have like a dining area and that's pretty much how you make a house look magnificent by sprucing it up by adding a lot to it um and it's something that a lot of people don't usually do when they when they build houses is that they just kind of leave stuff off for other people to use they're like, oh yeah, we don't need to have this. This doesn't need to be like that. But I'm sorry, kind of, you kind of do need to have certain items in the house. Um, you do want to make it spruce up a little bit. Um, this kind of looked like, kind of looked like something like this. And now, obviously, you need entryways into each room. Um, so you will decorate, you'll do doors. Um, you want to make sure all the doors are the same as you use on the outside of the house. So when you go inside, the doors aren't going to be different than how you normally, um, how you would normally do it. Curtains. Let's add some curtains in here because why not? Um, kind of make the place pop a little bit. I will use these curtains right here, the long curved curtains for like the living room. And as you can see, let's paint these um, a nice cloudy gray color. And now, let's just look at this. Look look at how much the house comes together when you add certain items and you add all this. And it just looks so nice. Like, you don't have to add too much to make the house look nice. Like, just look at this. Just look at this. This this looks amazing. Obviously, when you go to the outside, we didn't really work on the outside much. But the outside doesn't really matter. Um, the outside can be whatever you desire. Um, but one of the things you would want to use when you're going to go for, like, a pathway. So we do build... Um, please don't use the path tool because this is, this is ugly. Go for the floor. Use the floor tool. Remember, we can use custom placement. Just kind of like, just, just kind of like mess around with different types of trees. Don't use all the same kind of tree. Um, put some plants around. Like, yeah, we can use like this, maybe put like the stack tree here. Put like another tree. Put like another stack tree around, maybe down here. That's pretty much how it's going to look like. Um, you can add, like, maybe, like, add, like, a little pond in an area. No, let me, let me add that. Let me, let me build that. Okay, let me build that. So let's build, like, a shallow pool kind of thing. Kind of spilled a nice little pond. So obviously you could do a little bit diff different landscaping than I did because I can't landscape. But the inside is where I'm at. Interior design. So if you want to see more crazy content like this one, definitely... Like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video whenever I post it. Also, I have a Discord server that you should join. I notify you about every single upload. Um, so definitely go ahead and join there. I talk in there every single day. So you would want to join so you never miss out on any interaction or any fun events that I have planned. If you want to be on one of my videos, I will definitely notify you there. Um, also, only 94% of you watching this video are are not subscribed so definitely subscribe to help me out and share this video with other people so as you can see we kind of have this nice house so the person who had that box house definitely left because they saw that we had a better house than them so right here we have this nice flat design 
we walk in and we are greeted with a nice living room obviously i didn't color everything um the same i didn't just finish off with what you want to do but obviously when you walk in you're greeted with a nice a nice decorated place and then in here in the kitchen obviously add some cabinets in here um i definitely didn't finish this um a nice little room actually that actually kind of fits having that around there so yeah this is definitely how you would build a house this is how definitely how you would do everything about the house so if you want to see more videos like this one obviously i already told you about that um i have more videos like this on my channel definitely go check them out i have a vast number of blocksburg videos that you guys can go ahead and check out but these are some tips and tricks to make your house look better than a normal box so with with without further ado i want to say thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one when i post that one so goodbye mm -hmm.